हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिविजन सेल डिविजन इज द इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द लिविंग बींग्स और लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एंड इट इज द इनहेरेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म in the cell division cells reproduce their own kind cells reproduce their own kind the growth of the cell the differentiation the reproduction and repair takes place through the cell division rudolf virchow in 1858 suggested hominid cellulae cellula that means every cell is derived from the pre existing cell there are two types of cell division namely mitosis and meiosis the cell capable of undergoing division passes through the cell cycle now we see the cell cycle what is cell cycle the cell cycle means the sequence of changes or events that occurring or that occur between the formation of cell and its cell division into daughter cells the formation of cells and its division into daughter cells that is the cell cycle it has non dividing it has non dividing growing phase called interphase and dividing phase is called mitotic or m phase now see in this different types of stages that are occurred during the mitosis in this figure the first phase is the interphase second phase is early prophase then prophase then late prophase then metaphase then anaphase and telophase and after that the cell divides into two now we see one by one the different stages of the mitosis first is interphase interphase means between the aspects inter means between and phases mean the aspects the interphase is the very long phase it is metabolically active between two successive mitotic cell division the interphase is occur it has three sub stages first the g1 phase or it is known as post mitotic phase also in that g1 phase the dna preparation is occur rna is also prepared and the proteins are also synthesized the next phase is s phase that is also known as synthetic phase the duplication or replication of dna and centriole takes place in this s phase then third phase is g2 phase that is post mitotic phase the g1 phase is pre mitotic phase s phase is synthetic phase and g2 is the post mitotic phase in this phase the synthesis of proteins is required for the synthesis of spindle fibers that is spindle fiber prepared karnyasati je proteins lagta te proteins ya thikani ya g2 phase madhe synthesize kela jata the m phase or mitotic phase second phase it is short phase it includes two important processes that occur simultaneously that are or they are karyokinesis 
that is the division of nucleus and cytokinase that is the division, uh, division of cytoplasm resulting into two daughter cells karyokinesis hota tyachanantar cytokinesis hota karyokinesis ka manje ka hota don eka nucleus pasun don nucleus tayar hota that is the division of nucleus is carried out and then later on the karyo uh, cytokinesis is carried out that is the division of cytoplasm and in this way from one cell two daughter cells are formed after m phase the cell may enter into interphase to repeat the cell cycle or g0 phase that g0 phase is also known as a still cycle then the cells in g0 phase may grow and differentiate into different cell types to perform different functions walter fleming in 1882 studied mitotic cell division in animal cells and coined the term mitosis for that cell division mitosis is a type of cell division in which parent cell produces two similar daughter cells mitosis is the type of cell division in which the parental cell produces two similar daughter cells that resembles the parent cells that resembles the parental cells in terms of chromosome number so it is also called as equational cell division or that is the homo typic cell division this maintain the constant number of chromosome in each cells of successive generation what is the importance of mitosis that is the it maintain the constant number of chromosome in each cells after successive generation it occurs in somatic cells of the body so it is called somatic cell division also mitosis occur in two stages karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis means the the division of nucleus that is the functional material that occurred in the cell it occurs in four stages as follows let start with first stage that is prophase pro means means before and phases means appearance or the aspects it is the long phase or it is the longest phase of mitosis during this phase the chromatin organization into distinct chromosomes by coiled spiralization prophase it is the longest phase during the phase the chromatin is organized into distinct chromosomes by coiling or spiralization of the chromosomes the centriole develop into esters and move towards the opposite poles of the cell to establish the plane of the cell division spindle apparatus begin to appear nucleolus and nuclear membrane disintegrate and disappear the chromosomes are set free in the cytoplasm that events that are occurred during the prophase which events the centriole develops the esters move towards the opposite poles of the cell to establish the plane of the cell division spindle apparatus begins to appear nucleolus and nuclear membrane membrane dis- disintegrate and disappear and the chromosomes are set free in the cytoplasm so we can stop here and now in the next period we can see the metaphase second phase thank you